The pandemic is still taking a toll on the state's blood supply. The Red Cross says it's about 10,000 units short of where it should be. That would make up for that. They would have to have at least 3,300 people in Georgia donate immediately. Joe Ripley shares now more on the urgent need that's grown in the last few months and how it's impacting people of color especially hard. We are at our lowest levels of blood supply for this time of year since 2015. At times down to a half day supply. Dr. Bialaski with the Red Cross of Georgia says traditional summer shortages, a decrease in donors, and the pandemic have all led to a dire need for blood. You know, our biggest concern is that hospitals and physicians will not have the blood when they need it. The need for blood is especially critical for those dealing with sickle cell anemia. Folks here at the Sickle Cell Foundation of Georgia say they've seen people wait up to three to four days just to get one blood transfusion. Intensely painful episode. And, and, and it's as if everything in a person's body is aching. Dr. Milford Green says at least 13,000 people in Georgia live with sickle cell, where red blood cells become deformed and block healthy blood flow. Green says there's a dire need for people of color to give blood to combat the disease. An individual might really think of uh, giving blood as a way of life, uh, as, as part of my voluntary effort to, to, to support and help the world in which I live. And Dr. Lasky says upping donations will be necessary in preventing blood supply from running out. You know, the, the ER is now, but we also need it a week from now, a month from now, two months from now. It's persistent and ongoing. So any donations are needed and appreciated, but the Red Cross says there is an urgent need for O type blood. If you're interested in donating, go to 11alive.com. We have some great tips on how you can sign up and find a location close to you.